I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. I mean, I guess I can. Uh, 61 uh, all the way to 75. Let's go. What is this? Get the fuck. Get, get the Get out of here. This guy. Actually believable. You out. Right. Okay. You have leaves. No hero behind. Okay. Okay, this is not the group for you, my friend. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So leave the how do I know this player is an imposter? Okay? Um, because this player has the achievement for completing um Shattered Observatory challenge mode without anyone dying right so this is clearly not a new player right again and listen phil you're from the chat as well i actually did respond to you directly and say that i don't want you to join if you're very experienced with fractals i appreciate that you're trying to help and that's super cool that's awesome that's very kind of you um but that's not the goal of this right the goal of this is to have an organic experience and encounter some new players along the way um that guy had full legendary armor as well yeah. Yeah. I'm a returning player, almost 10 years character. I have no experience in the new fractals. I have, um, yeah, I have full ascended AR. Okay. I started two weeks ago again. Well, th <laughs> dude, because this guy's not on the stream. Like, the thing is, this guy's responding to me. I'm from the stream, right? Um, and, yeah. <laughs> And the Reaper's like, why, why are you saying that? I think the Daredevil is illegal. I do. And gamers, before I go on the LFG again, please... Wait, this guy has three... You've done CM, man! What are you doing here? Hello, friend. This is, um, do you mind stepping out? I appreciate you helping, but I want to have a full fiesta experience. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Take care. Right. Okay. Here we go. It's time. But yeah, seriously, guys, please don't join. Please do not join unless you are a big juicer. Uh, unless you are not. A big juice. In fact, no, don't even join. Guys, on the stream, please don't join, guys, okay? Just, look, you're here to enjoy the memes. You're here to enjoy the fiesta. You're not here um, to watch me do, like, regular tier three dailies, yeah? Aha! Yes! That's what I'm fucking talking about. 9 AR Max Mastery Mech. That is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, I see the Herald here as well. Yeah, Herald's a decent build. Decent build. Yes. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is amazing, right? Because the mech... Um, yeah, the mech... You don't even... Look, they didn't code... They didn't code the mech... <laughs> to, <laughs> to even work underwater. This player is like... It's, it's like worse than core NG. Because the mech doesn't work. Oh no! <laughs> now, the mech can just stay at range and avoid a lot of the agony resistance, agony damage, so that should be okay. I'm not a big fan of this boss, to be honest. It's a bit, a bit rubbish. But I guess it's okay. It has vulnerability on it. Weakened. Underwater combat is pretty weird. There's a reason why they didn't really go too much on it. Like, well, it's not exactly weird. I think it'll be fine. It's just the game isn't balanced around it. Like, you're so much weaker underwater than you are on land. And that is very, very weird. The way combat plays out is totally different. 
Very unusual. A yet another game mode for Aina to balance. Okay, nice. Jellyfish down. Everyone made it. Wait, is that a hammer rev? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is legit. Hammer gameplay. Let's roll. Again, I'm just going to go slow here. We could, well, I guess I could actually do the skip here. But to be honest, I think it's going to be such a hassle to get people to actually slash GG. I think it's probably better just to actually kill all the harpies. Because you can actually get some decent loot from these too. You can actually, um, maybe not on tier 3, but on tier 4, you can actually drop uh, tier 6 blood from these. We're getting tier 5 bloods here. Obviously not as good. Not bad though. So yeah, I think I'm just going to kill all these because I think it will just be, it's going to be quicker. Okay. It's going to give everyone a lot of protection. The mech is obviously, you know, why would they? Why would they ever stack? You know, imagine stacking on mech. So they have no boons. That's fine though. Mech doesn't need boons. Okay, good, good. This fractal is completed. 62, locked in. Very good. Fractal level 64. To the laser room. Yeah, toads, new hawk, big frogs. Oh, this player's going to solo the heat room? I, uh, They're going to go for it, I think. Are they going for it? Oh, someone is... They are trying the heat room. I think they succeed. Yeah, they got it. They got it. They got it. 100%. There's no way they die, right? Oh, 2%. They actually made it on 2%. What a... Look at this rev. This is the quality you get in tier 3, guys. Heat room solo. From the rev. Good job, rev. Now, can they actually press both of the buttons? That's the question. Because they need to use some kind of condition cleanse or just, you know, stand, position themselves correctly to make that happen. Let's see if they can do that. I guess, well, they don't have a staff, do they? They could use Malik's. Because they're on hammer. They don't have staff four. That's the problem. Oh, I'm taking this cooling rod. Ah, they got it. Nice. They maybe, yeah, they maybe did something else. Who knows what they did? Whatever they did, it worked. Okay, the Rev is not pissing about. The Rev just runs in like a lunatic. I'm actually going to reposition here because that's going to disappear. And then all these are going to despawn. Ooh, yeah, nice. It did end up being a little bit safe there, but that could have been very scary. The mech died because they weren't stacked. Classic, classic. It's going to heal the warrior here. The warrior is blasting pretty nicely. Okay, good. And there it is. Nice. 2% and done. Great. Another fractal completed. Fractal level 66. Oof. Another fractal done. 67 fractal level. Boom. I'm starting to question things now. Gamers. Do people make a lot of progression groups for fractals just going through all of them? Because this was actually a lot easier than I thought. I've been able to make not one, but two group. Well, I guess one and a half groups of players who just want to do fractals. I need to start telling people, don't just wait for the dailies. Start making big blaster groups today. It's time, my friends. Make big blaster fractal groups and get to tier four, my friends. Because this was actually way easier than I thought. Didn't see that one coming. Is there a reason to do all? Yeah, I mean, you can turbocharge yourself and get to tier 4. In fact, you know what we could do? We could even do our first set of tier 4 dailies directly after this. As a bit of a celebration, as it were. To just get the... We might as well actually just get the bonus loot. I might as well just start doing tier 4 dailies from here on out. We have the AR for it. I have the gear for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess might as well. Yeah, I think a really big part of a lot of the problems that people have on the LFG is that nobody makes groups. Uh, everyone's waiting for these groups to be made, and no one wants to actually make them themselves. That's the another big takeaway. It's why I really want to get that commander tag. It's one of my next big priorities, is to get that tag locked in, so that I can really go crazy and um, start making my own groups for uh, instance content, like strike missions and stuff. 
And obviously open world too. Missing a lot for tag. I probably have enough gold for it by now, actually, if I sold everything. But I mean, I think... Oh, oh yeah, the, the mech has found more agony resistance. Got up to 77 somehow. It should make you a fractal boss. That would be good. I would... I would be punishing. If I was a boss, not many people would win. <laughs> what would the mechanics of that look like? Hmm... It would, I would definitely be spawning a lot of ads, and it would be level 7 crab, right? Level 7 crab would just wander towards you, and if it touches you, you just die, right? Immediately. It's over for you. There's definitely going to be a DPS check, right? And there's definitely going to be like a, you know, if you fail the DPS check, it's not going to go well for you. Yep. Maybe I just don't show up on time as well. That's also another big meme. You know, you, you try and start the boss. So the boss doesn't spawn for like 20 minutes. Maybe even an hour sometimes. I'm a world boss. I'm a world boss that has an irregular timer. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm not. You just have to have to deal with it. We win. 67 has been beaten. And that's actually the highest fractal I've done on this account ever. I'm done now. Oh no, the rev. The rev is gone. Well, that's fair enough. We have been doing an awful lot of fractals. I will accept that. I will take that. Okay, right. 68 all the way to 75. In brackets, easy. Uh, in brackets, free. Nice. Reminder, no one from the stream join, please, guys. Let's not ruin the experience. We've actually had a really fun, uh, entertaining run so far. Uh, let's not ruin this. That actually looks legit. 122 AR. That looks fine, I think. Soul Beast, that's not anything like mega overpowered. Probably isn't too much of a problem. Yeah, 311 mastery points. Yep, should be fine. I deem this player unsuspicious. Yep, I do not believe this player is suspicious. They're playing a power Soul Beast. That is a good build, but it's not a broken build. I'd be suspicious of people who are running like really, really broken shit. Um, have max AR, really high mastery points, all that kind of stuff. Big CC. Ah, oh, we have Dolyak stars. That's a really cool choice, actually, on that Soul Beast. I like that. That's very nice, actually. It means we have a second source of stability and a little bit of extra damage reduction, too. I wish more um, players would do that, actually. You know, weirdly enough, in some... Th this is a super interesting thing, because in some ways, that actually does kind of confirm that the player is a little bit newer. I think that players who are more experienced tend to be a little bit more enslaved to the optimum builds and like the the best dps meta builds but actually i really like that because i'm i'm actually no i don't think that's sus. i think that's anti-sus actually i think sweat lords wouldn't do that um but the thing is i actually think they should i think people are more enslaved to the meta than they should be i actually really like the thought process that this player has had here because they've clearly looked at their abilities and thought well hang on a minute this ability looks really good. This is like Guardian Stand Your Ground, right? They're thinking, well, hang on. I can give my team damage reduction and that can't be removed in stacks with protection and five stacks of stability. That seems insane. Like, Guardian's really good with that. So why wouldn't it be really good on Soul Beast? Now, of course, there are, you know, it is a bit of a DPS loss to take this. And that's, you know, that's a justification. But if you actually think about the thought process there, it actually makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. With the, the way that they've probably thought about that build. I think more players should think like that. Um, and go, oh, that's a really, really strong group support ability. Very nice. 69. Fractal 69. Let's go. There it is. And that will officially get us to Fractal level 70. Blood Magic Transfusion if you want. Um, Pog. Yeah. Uh, could be very juicy. This Reaper is on the case! Ready to activate Blood Magic Reaper, old school! Have I actually found the best group for Fractals ever? Is this actually the best possible Fractal group ever made? Righto, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. I'll, the edge. I'll raise the gangplanks. My Trin. Fancy seeing you here. Here we go. Let's game. Who's tanking? I've got the bomb, so I'm going to make sure that the bomb is uh, placed next to that. 
Okay, so I think it will be the next one. There it is. And now we want to break the Defiance Bar. Okay, Defiance Bar, let's go. Well, I guess not. This fractal, I think, could be a little bit scary. You can die. There's a lot of air effect pressure. Some adds do spawn. As you can see, there's a decent amount, amount of damage. So I'm going to try to make sure we play relatively defensively. Oh, yeah. You can really feel that HP scaling now. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on, though. Us, what's going on with the damage? Why is the Soul Beast 2k DPS? Why is the mech 3k DPS? And at least the Spellbreaker's kind of blasting. Yeah, I think maybe it's not the HP scaling. Maybe it's just the fact that our damage is a little on the low side. Oh, yeah. Oh, that agony might be too much. Yeah, that's going to be too much. Ooh, I think we might have a few problems here. This might not be as straightforward as I was hoping. Well, I wanna, I'm going to play super safe. I'm just going to kill the ads here. This might be where things get a bit spicy. That's a good position for that. If we can break my trend, that's great. We do. Good, good. We need to, I'm going to be a little bit cautious with uh, managing these cooldowns here. Because this is where things get a little frisky. Because we're going to have to fight this boss for a very long time. And that means that I need to be very prudent with that. I almost want to kill this Grenadier. In fact, I do. I'm just going to let those guys hit the boss. I'm going to kill this. Because we need to minimize all pressure on the group. Uh, we're in full survival mode right now. So our goal is eliminate anything that could cause us to wipe. And right now, I think leaving those ads up could absolutely lead to a wipe. So we need to prevent that. Going to remove the Condi on that guy. Heal him. Okay. Remember our dodge rolls heal on this build. So we're going to be using that. Let's get Horik. Okay, and again, I'm going to go on the adds when they spawn here. We want to get rid of all of them. We just have our Tome 3 up, which is perfect. We can block all these projectiles. We actually reflected that immobilize back. And yeah. Ah, oh, this is where... Ah, oh, this is big. Their hatred for adds that we saw on Molten Boss is actually paying off here because they want to kill all of them. I like that. See? It looked a little bit weird on that fractal, but it's actually paying off here. The dividend has been collected. Okay, uh, boss is on me. That's fine. That means I can control where the boss is. And that means we can uh, make sure that the lightning bomb actually lands. It's not until the next one, though. Oh, she's porting, so we need to st all stand over here. Okay, yeah, light. Oh, nice. Lightning bomb is going to be correct. A little bit lucky there, to be honest. Okay, there are no ads. Okay, right. I think we're in the clear. Because after Horik dies, then we're in business. We can just finish the boss up pretty quickly. Okay, good. What I'm actually really impressed by is a lot of what I'm seeing here is I'm uh, I'm watching the decision making of what's going on, and the players are actually making sensible decisions, which which is really cool to see. Actually, it's something that um, I'm regaining my faith in humanity. When I play like tier four fractals and even raids and strike missions, I often go these players are just like randomly pressing buttons, but I'm actually witnessing a lot of quite thoughtful decisions from these players, like the stances on the soul beast. And using that bubble there on the Spellbreaker. Which is very interesting to see. And that is the mark of a, a player that has potential, right? To conquer a lot of content is decision making and understanding, um, uh, you know, understanding when, when you can do stuff. Fractal level 74. We've nearly done it. Just two more fractals. This will probably be it for me. Uh... There is one more after. You can do it. Pog. Quite good for no AR2. Then you get tier 4 fractal unlocked. Insane. Insane value. 25 fractals. How long did it take? Uh, 5 hours. I've been going for around 4 hours right now. Which is about how long I anticipated to take. So it's going to be around 4.5 hours for the full run. Which was almost exactly what I predicted, funnily enough. Around 10 minutes per fractal. Just a little bit over that. Yeah, I'd love to be able just to get it done with this group. Because that's really wholesome, you know. Because this uh, Reaper, this guy, he's been here since the beginning. Isn't that, co isn't that cool, guys? I love that. 
has been here the entire time. Probability of death, very low. This one's not that scary. On CM, though, it can be scary. But not a normal. The key here is just pop-ups and reflects. Don't fail the blue orb. Colony comes a lot. There can be a lot of conditions. Stack together. Heal. Res each other if you need to. Stability is really good too, actually. Here we go. And Aegis as well. Yeah, it's really good to just get some reflects up here. Can I do some big damage? No. Well, didn't get all my skills if I wanted, but that'll do. Let's get these reflects up. Can put uh, that to counter the weakness. And there we go. Burst seems to be pretty decent here. The Reaper has the bomb. No, mech, don't run. No, no, stop running. See, what happened there is I was kind of forced to use all of my healing on the mech, whereas it could have hit everyone because the mech was running around and not stacking. And that meant that it was a lot harder to heal the mech. Uh, now, the question is, is who is going to do the orb here? It might end up being me, to be honest with you. Oh, that's not good. No, mech. I think I can res that. Oh, no, I think they got agony. Hmm. Uh, I have the bomb. That's actually not ideal. Okay, someone else is doing... Oh, they actually know the mechanic. Nice. Sometimes people don't know, but this group does know. I suppose that's a very obvious statement, but... A, well a surprise, a welcome one, but a surprise nonetheless. Okay. When I said the bomb, I actually meant the ball, the orb. I got the bomb again? Are you kidding me? Can still do some value at range though with the staff. The mech! Heal him! There we go, got him. It's getting a bit frantic. We're fine though. The Reaper made it! Oh! Ah, I'm gonna tell the Reaper a trick. He doesn't know the trick. Oh, we also failed. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and the reason why is because the Reaper hasn't noticed that you can use the action key to get between these balls. So here's the gimmick, guys. Every time you use action key here and you and the, the orb hits you, it refreshes. Every time the orb hits you, you get action key reset. So you can chain it together to go in the blues there. You don't need uh, need to walk. You can just bounce. Yeah. To be fair, that actually isn't immediately obvious. So I don't blame anyone for not noticing that. Yeah, it's not immediately obvious. Also, um, reminder, the action key is now a CC. A very good one. Good one. Use it for the break bar on this boss. Yep. Uh, it also evades. So, so you can use it as a dodge. And this is why it's really important to mouse over your skills. Look here. Okay, uh, look here. Hypernova launch. Does damage, gives you an Aegis. Nice. Is um, a launch too. And also breaks stun. So if you get stunned, you can break stun. It's a blast finisher. And, okay, it also is that CC. And you can use it in midair too. So you can be like in midair and then... Do, use that. Nice. Very powerful. Uh, what I failed. Uh, the shockwave the boss applies there, uh, or uses there, uh, applies agony. So shockwave got you. Need a lot of CC. We need pretty big CC. Yes. All right, let's go. Here we go. Uh, st I actually really like Stand Your Ground here, because the boss shockwaves you, and you can very easily get comboed. So I actually really like this. Ah, turn away from the eye. The Reaper throwing in the tips too. Very good. Very good. That's what we like to see. 74. Then after this, it's the final fractal. I don't believe it. What a journey. What an epic journey, my friends. I love it. Good. There we go. Yeah, so the correct, this is um, not immediately obvious again, but it makes sense if you think about it logically. So you actually don't want to stand here and push it in. What you want to do is walk over to it and then push them in like this. 
Um, this is a, a very classic. You even see this on CM, by the way. Not even on, not even tier four. You see this on CM. Classic mistake. You don't push it in. You action key over and let it come to you. Right. This is a uh, very, very classic mistake. Okay, there's the- I'm actually just going to give resistance. Some people are going to get feared. Yeah, you see they got feared there. We gave them resistance, so it didn't matter. Could have even used- I could have used my stability there, but I kind of want to save it. I'm not sure what I'm saving it for, though, so yeah. Should have just given them stability, because now I don't have- Oh, what a horrible play by me, because I could have reflected that orb. I should have done stab first. Oh, God. I'm going to do it now. I'm redeeming myself. There we go. Redemption. Redemption! Okay, so what you want to do- over here like this, orb goes in, boom, done. Okay, because you, you can stop doing all this bullsh bullshit. Like, look at this. Like, this guy's like jerk around with that. Like, what the hell's going on over here? Even right? It's just some. Um, it's so much easier to do it that way. Oh yeah, and this has happened as well. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going in here. There we are. They need to try and I can get it with an axe three, I think. Okay, nice. This makes it a billion times easier if you approach it that way. I'm actually bottom DPS. That's quite gratifying. That doesn't happen very often in these groups. We go Reflect and Aegis, completely shutting down that account, that attack. And there, they're going to get feared, and we cleanse. Oh, they actually faced away. Nice. Oh, they might have had some stability left over. I want to get at least one of these. Nice, got it. Again, move over, position, knock. See? Like that. Very easy. It's the foolproof way of doing it. Doing it quickly, too. Oh, the Reaper is the bomb. Hopefully they notice. They did notice. Very good. Why is mech being ranged better? It isn't. Uh, the mech wants to stack with us. They're actually significantly risking their life by standing there. Okay. Watch that shocker. That might kill the mech because it does apply agony. The mech actually was able to jump over it. Good job, mech. Oh. What's that CC? I'm trying to save my stability here. Okay, you can CC this guy. I've saved my stability for the next boss fight. That's good. Uh, but we're not gonna... The lack of alacrity here sucks. Because I don't get my Tome 3 back nearly as much as I'd like. I'm gonna position that AoE so it heals a lot of people. Can even try and blast the water field too. Too slow. I shouldn't have used that. Can drop out though, it's fine. Got this one. Move over. Dodge behind it. Boom. Push it. And you can see how much quicker mine is happening than the other ones. Actually, to be fair, that was pretty good. To be fair, that wasn't half bad. And there we go. We should just get a clean burst here. This boss has a tendency to sit around doing nothing with these incredibly long stuns. You can see the boss is stunned for like 10 seconds here. Essentially rendering it totally useless. Yeah. And there it is. Might as well pop off stability. And that's the end of that. That is the end of that. That was actually surprisingly easy. Went pretty well. Went pretty damn well there. That was one of the fractals that had a really big potential to be super scary, I think, and cause us some big problems. But, no problemo. I hope the mech doesn't leave. I think um, it would be really cool if we could do, you know, the remaining fractal with that last player. But obviously, we've been going for a long time. I'm not gonna... This is it. The end of the journey. Yeah. The end of the adventure. Every fractal done from 51 through to 74. This is how it all ends. Sunqua Peak. Omega Fractal. Tier 3. The final boss. The mech has stayed to see the adventure through. One of the harder bosses, for sure. One of the harder Fractals. There's no question about that. I believe in the team, though. I have, uh, we've assembled a pretty good roster of gamers. Our comp isn't super amazing for this Fractal. Kind of want to have a lot of ranged DPS builds a lot of the time, but I think we should actually have no problems in doing this. I'll probably just play super defensively, bring a lot of Aegis for the final fight, maybe take... Uh, I'll drop Purging Flames and then maybe take um, Sanctuary and Advance to be very, very defensive. Make sure everyone survives, and then I think we should be good to go. And the journey will be complete. Yeah. 
I believe in the squad. And with any luck, you know, uh, when people see this, and if you've been watching this now, uh, maybe you're feeling, whoa, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look so intimidating. Maybe it's just encouraging you to play Firebrand, who knows, but whatever the outcome, hopefully it was entertaining at least. And well, there's still some entertainment left over. And I will be exploiting as hard as possible to make this work too, of course. I will be activating the full power of Slugbrand. I keep forgetting I don't really have to dodge those attacks anymore. I mean, you kind of want to, obviously, but uh, like, oh, whoops, I was greedy there. I keep trying, I keep thinking that I have no agony resistance because I've been doing a lot of these fractals with zero AR for a long time. Now that I, nice, now that I finally have ascended gear, I don't really need to do that anymore. It's okay, little buddy, you're safe. God, dude, what am I doing today? I'm so eager to reach the finish line, I'm just not even looking anymore. Ah, right, hang on, let's go ahead and change our ability here because we have to gather the slugs now. We're going into the fire zone and that means it is time to reflect. Because what we need to do here is get as many of these little elementals to reflect uh, reflect them when they die. And that means that we'll have an army of miniature lava elementals. I'm going to try and pull this one in here. And do the same here so I can get all of them with the reflect. Okay, that one's about to die. Oh, dude, I fucked it up so badly. This is terrible. Okay, we got a few at least. Didn't really work. Dude, we only got two. What a failure. Need to pull them all together there, really. All right, here we go. I'm just going to camp this tome and use these reflects here. There we are. That's a slug. Wall of reflection is up. Ah, that's better. That's more like it, right? There we go. There we go. And we should be able to get another good chunk of slugs over here. Right, let's see. Maybe they can greatsword pull in. Aha. Oh, I didn't really work, did it? Okay, and we just wait until they're about to die. They're going big there. Aha. There we are. Easy reflect. We can put wall of reflection up too. And that should spawn us an army. There we go. That's not half bad, actually. I kind of fucked up the first one. But that's fine. And these will do very heavy damage to the bosses now. But yeah, this is really good. You can do that on anything that can reflect. You know, it doesn't have to be a firebrand. It could be a mesmer, for example. Or, or magnetic aura, even. Right? And there we go. We now have an army of lava elementals that will... Gr these are a big DPS increase, by the way. A really big DPS increase. It will massively increase our damage. Nice. Oh. I wonder how much damage we're going to do on the final boss. I wonder if we can even get top DPS. I think slug brand. Oh, slug brand is not active here. Yeah, we're not even slug branding right now, guys. As you can see here, the slugs are just standing up there. They only activate on the last boss. Well, one of them's here, but that's obviously not that much. This boss seems very similar, really, on tier three, as it was on tier two. Basically identical. More health, of course. I guess it hits harder. I imagine if you fail the uh, line of sight check, it probably just destroys you or something. Okay. I've been targeted. I'm just going to go stand over here. We're going to dodge away. I can hide behind this rock. And there it is. Boom! Here we go. That's it. I'm bottom DPS. I'm fucking noob. What the hell? Well, I am the healer. I guess I can't expect to out DPS DPS players anymore. That's unfortunate. Yeah. All right then, to the final boss. This has been rather quick, actually, hasn't it? I guess it's a relatively lengthy fractal, but not the longest fractal in the universe. All right. So this is it—the final challenge, the final boss. Let's see if anything goes wrong. Okay, my army of slugs at the ready. Charge! <laughs> Let's go! Get in here! Let's do it! Terrible purging flames to start things off. If I'd used that first, that might have worked. Are we gonna CC here? Oh, that's a Giga Chad move, actually. Oh, we also failed. Whoops. <laughs> now, I actually have a slight suspicion 
that my army of lava elementals may allow me to steal a pretty good DPS number here. I should have taken Sanctuary, though. I now have stability, which does literally nothing. Good job, me. I was too eager. What you want here is Sanctuary and um, Advance. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Ooh, come back and here we are. Yes, the journey has been completed. Jump. Need one more. Let's save the mech. Oh. Phew, we actually made it. That would have been a quite a tragic wipe, actually, wouldn't it? Where is everyone at? Player's going to take some damage. I'm not going to greed too hard. We'll actually play properly at least. Yeah. Look at that though. The slugs putting in the work, guys. <laughs> Look at them go. They're surrounding the boss. Spewing fire. You now the adversary. I think if you die, yeah, the slugs go away. I imagine they will. Oh. Thing here should be safe. Yup. Right, get in there. Okay. The slugs are slacking off here a little bit. Get in there. What are you guys doing? We're going to try and CC here. Don't want to spit there. Well. Oh, CC. Oh, we didn't get it. I'm just going to res that. Should be fine. Let's reheal everyone. Slugs, get to work. What are you doing? I want top DPS. These slugs are just... They're an embarrassment, to be honest. Well, I guess they're doing pretty well. Go! I should give them quickness, but not my own team. Okay. Good. Oh, we can save you! Oh no, the mech's dead. Uh, we can res them during the water phase, though. That's fine. We can get them back. I may actually try to communicate this to the team that we can revive during that phase. No, 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 no! That was a close shave there. The ranger wanted to destroy me. Okay, good. All right. Oh. We res the mech. Slugs, though, guys. Look at those slugs. They're starting to uh, put in the work. There we are. Am I still tethered here? No, not anymore. There we go. Boom. Okay, we need we we could die here actually. This could be a problem. Yeah, because we actually have these green circles that we need to stack in, otherwise we're gonna take heavy down. I think that's new to tier three, actually. Didn't think we had that before. And we also have to handle these tethers. So this is a little bit spooky. Especially a, being a player down here really sucks because you have less people to share the tether with. Oh boy. Taking that. There we go. And a dodge roll here for a heal. I probably should have used some food and potions here, actually. Would have been a good idea. Oh, the warrior has defeated me. I'm dodging this way just to run away. Okay. Even the slugs. Can oh, hang on though. The slugs are bursting. The slugs are bursting hard. Oh, it was so close. Look at that. 6.2k DPS. Slug brand. And there it is. There it is. The journey has completed. Every fractal, fractal expert, complete each fractal scale from 51 through to 75 in one day. Pure pugs. And there it is. Job done. Yeah, now I have to do Drizzlewood, right? <laughs> Two golden fractals, not bad. Not bad.
Tier 4 Fractals officially unlocked. But I think that's probably going to do it. Good job, team. Easy. What an amazing team, though. Wow. I actually feel... I, should, I shouldn't have left that early. Uh, they really deserve some praise for that. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll eventually see the YouTube video. But that was... That was really, really cool. Yeah, a special shout out to the Reaper. 